What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys my buddy's max level hunter rocking that full raid gear. He actually got 2 or 3 or 5 within the first week and today I'm going to give you guys the tips he used in getting there so quick. May I add as well, he only used 2 hunters to do this. He's still yet to, well he's actually just created his third hunter but he got here with 2 hunters which is pretty impressive uh, but what he did and the method he used I will show you in today's video. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some silver? If so, leave a like on the video and tell me in that comment section what level are you across all three of your characters. Okay, so on screen now you can see my friend's amazing looking hunter. It's probably one of the best I've seen so far. The hunter he is using, and you can see it on screen now, was his first hunter he made. And he actually got this to a 305 within the first week. He's just had to wait a couple of weeks while the raid's here, so he could get that full raid gear. But he did get a 305 within the first week, and here is how he did it. So on his first character, he finished the story, then went to Zavala within a new social space, and opened the exotic he has waiting for you for when you complete the campaign. What he then did was, at roughly a level 230 at the time, he went on to grind public events, and I mean grind people. If you check his destiny tracker, I'm sure he's close to 250 public events. Now he got his character up to about a 280 by doing this alone and grinding legendaries and exotics. And this was before he did a nightfall, this was before he did any of the world's weapon quests or anything else for that matter. Once he had done the weapon quests and the nightfall and so on, he was just over a 290. Remember people, this is his first character within the first week. When he started his second hunter, he basically did the same. This time taking tips on the best way of reaching a top rank. Tips like he did on his first character, smash through that story, but then save that exotic Zavala has waiting for you. Switch all your gear over from your first character, weapons and armor, then open that Savala exotic, then grind through the exotic weapon quest again on each planet, then do the nightfall and bam, he was basically a 3 or 5 within the first week, obviously grinding a few more public events to get a few more extra exotics, but he only used 2 characters in doing this. Remember people there's also exotics that do drop from K6's treasure chests and the flashpoints which he did use these too. But still not many people within the first week on two characters of the same class got to a level 3 or 5. Now it has took him just over two weeks like I said for the raid being here for him to get a full gear set. But damn it was worth the wait because this is one of the best looking hunters I have ever seen and I'm sure you will agree with me on that. But yeah guys the grind is real no matter what method you use in ranking up. The way my buddy did it on his first character though in grinding public events, the way he did, probably isn't the fastest way, but hey it worked for him. I still believe the method in which I made a video on is still the best way of doing things. That video can be found linked within the video description if you guys do want to check it out. But yes guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leaving a like really does help me out. You can always tweet me a picture of your guardian on Twitter at DPJSC08. My Twitter is linked within the video description. Remember people as well, if you want to win some silver, join my Discord, which is also linked within the video description too. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be a part of the notification squad, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload but thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one always in the